that are in the building behind me and then you're into the port itself and there's a pedestrian crossing through the trucks so I'm just going to try and find the actual ferry terminal and check it out This is what the waiting area looks like. There's a cafe beside here with the toilets here as well. I'm looking at the departures board at the moment. It's about 8.20 in the morning and my boat leaves at 9.30. So I'm super early, but that's how I roll just in case. I've had a coffee and I'm in a good humor. And now it's time to board the ferry. I've been looking on the map and it looks like a really interesting place so I'm looking forward to it. I'm devastated. A storm is hitting the coast right now and the entire day's ferries are cancelled. So everything's been cancelled to get across. On the upside, at least the ferry was cancelled before I got over there otherwise it would be stranded on the other side. I decided to get a coffee and rest before riding to Gibraltar the next day. I was feeling really down before when I saw that the ferry had been cancelled but then I went and got some postcards and also an envelope and I sent some postcards to Australia and also donated some stamps to a stamp museum in the US just um, for that sort of feel good vibe and that's a really good thing to do if you've got a rainy day on holidays. Go old school and actually send something in the mail. Next time, and today's the day that I ride to Gibraltar. I've just stepped past through the border and... I hope this experience helps you plan for the worst if you do want to take the ferry across the Mediterranean.